All right, it's raining outside, so I'm organizing some tackle. All right, first things first, I used to use these DeWalt boxes. They worked, thing just broke. <laughs> they worked good, but the problem that I had is that, yeah, they hold a lot of gear, but your customization really isn't all the best. But if you wanna separate it lengthwise, you can't do that. You can only go vertical. So what happens is your gear kind of piles up and gets all smashed together, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, dude, these things hold a lot of gear. They're still super good and they have an O-ring seal. Pretty cool. But I used to use a box like this and I would bring this with me every single time and I'd fit two of those uh, DeWalt boxes in there. I could fit all my line in the uh, compartments up top here. And then you have like, this little loadout box thing is kind of sweet, but a box this big on a small skiff just takes up way too much space. So not gonna be taking this much anymore with me. And instead, I'm bringing a good old fashioned backpack. The reason for that is gonna be a lot lighter, obviously, and I can still fit all my line, which is 40 pound, 80 pound, 50 pound. If you guys know me and watch the channel, you know that I pretty much only fish lures, so that's about what I fish. Obviously, if I go bait fishing, I'll bring some extra line, but anyways, all of this will fit in the backpack. Plus, I'm always gonna be bringing some gyros. These are kind of a must have if you fish on your own skiff. It's worth the investment. Don't slack out. You'll find way more fish with some binos. These boxes are pretty nice. This is gonna be pretty similar to a Plano though but at least it's got an O-ring seal. Obviously, Plano's do too, but what I like the most, and again, I think I have slight OCD, so I tend to keep all the boxes the same. At least these thin ones have a ton of customization. Um, as you can see, you can literally put these things anywhere you want, which is pretty sick. And, this one, I pretty much use for bay, the bay stuff, organizing swim baits and stuff. And then I have this small one for organizing like hooks, weights, that sort of stuff. Pretty sweet. Oh, we lost a little sliding sinker. But yeah, that's gonna be all I can carry. And it fits in the backpack real nice, super easy. So let's go ahead and dive into what I'm bringing in the tackle box for an inshore day and then maybe something for offshore. First things first, obviously we got some surface iron, pretty sick. I'm gonna bring about four of these. As you can see, oh! I just happen to have all mint, I don't know why. Various ones, Stinger 4, we got an OCT and a Taddy 45, so those will come with me. For our yo-yo selection, we're hitting them with the kickers. We got the kicker 25 and the scrambled egg. <laughs> got it in the mint. Another mint, as you can see, we're, we're tied up here. And we got the Salas 6X in the Mac pattern. Next up. Essentials as well, because you never know how deep you're gonna be yo-yoing or the bait. As you can tell, these are my favorite ones. 6X Junior Mac Daddy pattern. And we're going with a little yellow pattern. I don't even know what you call this. Yellow bird shit, is that what it's called? Anyways, three of these. Whoops. I got some stick baits. Always gonna bring this one on the, uh, on the boat. This is the Grom. I have... This one that'll come with me sometimes if they're on bigger bait. This is gonna be the uh, the roll dog. So definitely a bigger bait. So here, as you can see, size comparison, the Grom's definitely smaller. So I like to bring the Grom just in case they're on small bait. Roll dog, if I know they're on mackerel or something, thing swims pretty crazy. This is another stick bait that uh, just came out. It is the Pinchovi by Biter Lures. It's pretty sick that we have guys making custom baits now to kind of compete with the big dogs. Tolly makes the roll dog and Eric makes the biter, but you can see a size comparison there. And let's do a size comparison to the old Taddy 45. So again, 
It's a smaller bait, if you can see that. But yeah, thin cast, it's like heavy. So you can bomb this thing on a on a heavy jig stick. It's pretty wild. So biter lure coming with me. But for yellowtail, I do prefer something along the lines of the trebles with the stick bait. But that's just me. I don't know. Other guys can fish it however they want. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. This is just what I'm bringing in my box. Next up, you can have the 140 jerk baits. I have these tied on typically, but it's not like the first thing I cast. Um, I'll typically just throw the surface iron first and see what's up, but I've had days where they like the jerk bait a little bit better, so I try to keep a 140 size. And we got a couple 170s. I like this little flared out color. It looks pretty nuts. I feel like it would get a fish to bite, but I think it's more or less just getting me to buy the lure because it looks so cool instead of fishing it. As you can see, it really hasn't gotten bit. But I also have a sardine color, just in case. This one also looks pretty sweet too, but I don't know. Last year, they were eating the Zakanas pretty good in the winter, so got a handful. Various, size, ow, various sizes and colors, so that'll come with me. And last but not least, we got some pickle kicks. After going to Baja Loretto, as you can see in one of those videos I posted, they're eating these things pretty gnarly. So trying to get one local kind on these, but it hasn't happened yet. Then again, I haven't really been fishing, so that's probably why. Anyways, now for the boxes. Are they better than Plano? That's to be determined. I've had this for about four months. It's held up pretty good. Again, storage on this side is probably the same, but I do like how sleek the dial boxes look. They got four little latches that hold up real nice. And all the boxes are O-ring sealed, which is cool. So, so far I'm happy with them. And although this one doesn't really offer a lot of customization, at least these thinner boxes do. So it's really nice when I'm uh, trying to organize some small swim baits and stuff for the bay or hooks. Again, like this one, you can have the hooks and stuff all nice and organized. I've also used this giant one. Again, not a lot of like customization, but it's super deep. Um, that's when I'm bringing too much tackle and I shouldn't be doing that. So that's why I like to stick to this one. Keep it simple and focus on making good casts and actually finding fish. Cause I feel like most of the time I'm fishing, I'm literally just looking for fish and it's not even, I think I fish maybe one, two, I literally probably fish like two lures out of this box in an entire like winter of fishing. There's only like those random days when maybe it's like really good and you're out there and you're like, oh yeah, it's good. There, we can catch them on anything. But these are like all backup lures. So try to keep it light, focus on what's working, yo-yos, surf sirens, and then maybe experiment after. But shoots, hopefully I got some content for you guys soon.